In this example, we're going to use the rules for order of operations to simplify this expression. So a quick review of order of operations. When you have grouping symbols, you want to do inside the grouping symbols first, and you want to maintain that order of operations when you work inside the parentheses or the brackets, okay? If you have more than one set of grouping symbols, you want to work the innermost first. Once you complete inside your grouping symbols, you want to work the exponents. Then the next step is you want to work multiplication and division left to right. And then the next step you want to do addition and subtraction left to right. So starting off here, we have three grouping symbols. We have these brackets here, then we have these parentheses, and then these parentheses as well. We gotta do the innermost parentheses first. So we're gonna do what's in the yellow first because those are inside the brackets. So I'm going to complete this operation here, negative six minus five, and I'm gonna write that as negative 11. Negative one minus five, that gives me a negative six. Everything else gets copied down and pulled down exactly the way it is. The only thing that changes is that we replace what's inside here with the simplified form, which was negative 11 and negative six. Then what you want to do is you want to work out. We did the innermost parentheses first. Now we're going to work inside the brackets. So inside the brackets, we have multiplication and we have addition. Multiplication comes first. So I'm going to do negative 1 times negative 11. That gives me a positive 11. Negative 6 times a positive 6 gives me a negative 36. So inside the brackets, I did the multiplication. Now I'm going to do the addition and subtraction. So I have 11 plus a negative 36. When I simplify this inside here, I get a negative 25. Now that I have everything simplified inside the grouping symbols, so I completed step one. I don't have any exponents, so I don't have anything there to do. I do have multiplication. I have a negative five times a negative 25. A negative five times a negative 25 is positive 125. So this now becomes three plus 125. And that was because I multiplied the negative five times the negative 25. And then last step, we do addition and subtraction left to right. We only have addition here. So I'm going to take 3 plus 125 to get 128 as our final answer.